Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome. Good morning, Doctor. And a good morning to you too, Elsa. You look radiant. Thank you, Doctor. We haven't been seeing much of you lately, Elsa. You've been missing appointments. I'm sorry, Doctor. I've been feeling much better. That's very good to hear. And what has brought about this improvement? It's the new man in my life. He's convinced me to fight my addiction. Ah, the policeman from the newspapers. How has he coped with his fall from grace? He can finally see things from a human perspective, rather than the ivory tower he created for himself. It's making him stronger. It's making me stronger, healthy. You wouldn't make a bad analyst yourself, Elsa. Should we swap seats? <laughs> We're both finding we have a lot to give up. And what is that? In my case, you. You went through hell along with me and still came out smiling. In Cole's case, a friend took that place. Kelso? You've heard of him? No, uh, I just like the sound of his name. Cole and Jack are working on that case together. Is Jack a policeman too? No, he works for the district attorney. But. He's a special investigator. I thought you didn't know him. I have never met the gentleman in question. He has been looking into Lou's case. Cole thinks it might be linked to some fires he's investigating. You look pale, Doctor. It's cold in here, Elsa. I think I'll close the window. Elsa, get out. Why are you looking at me like that, Elsa? You arranged for Lou to work at Elysian Fields, Doctor. Your fears are unfounded. I meet many people in my line of work. There are many ways that people can be helped. Finding them work is just one of them. I don't believe you, Doctor. I've seen you with Monroe at the club. I'm sorry that you have come to that conclusion, Elsa. I've always so enjoyed our conversation. I can see your future, Elsa. Cole, the policeman, and Jack, the investigator. It's an unfortunate and grisly What? Who are you? All right, so I've come to help you, doctor. To help you cross over. All your sins will be forgiven. Next slide. Don't take Elsa. Who are you? I keep wanting to say something. Every time I try to say something, the game does a curveball. Welcome to the last case of L.A. Noir. This is actually, again, I think I think the finale that I'm doing. I hope so at this point. I have no idea. It's got to be one of these places. The arsonist's a bug sprayer. He must have worked at one of these joints. All right, so we have three locations to choose from. We're going to go to the first place first. And we're just going to, of course, as usual, say screw it. We're going to skip to destination. So, guys, welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome to the finale of L.A. Noir. Different kind of war. This case is relatively different. So, the goal was we're going to walk through everything and hopefully things will go well. The main reason we come here first is for one thing and one thing over. How many guys you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. 
Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, I'm sure. I believe that, but... Huh, what's this? What have you got? Hey, wait a minute. Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my case. Shut your fucking mouth. Oh, freak! Since when does a bag man work a case? I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Hey, detective! Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. It's a time to talk and a time to shut up. Now is the time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an Army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your fucking head off! You finally lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Sheldon's dead, and I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. <laughs> I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Stay with him until the coroner gets here. Make sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'll come looking for you. Yes, sir. No, Phelps. You're not the worst asshole going around. Thanks, Herschel. Woo! I like Phelps' character all of a sudden. I love it. Alright, we have one more newspaper to get, and we will get it in this case today. If I can run, holy cow. Alright. So the first one is obvious on not, not it. Let's go to nuclear bug and rodent control. So you have to go to all three locations regardless of what you do. And it's pretty much it. It's something really we have to worry about. So no more bugs be gone. It's a great name to be afraid of. Welcome to nuclear. What can I do you for? I work for the DA. I need to speak with an exterminator, big guy with a cowboy accent. We have only three people work here, me and two Mexicans. They're both on the scrawny side. Thanks for your help. <laughs> I'm a, a bit shocked how quick and easy and painless that was. All right, so Westlake then it is. Got yeah, one through chance. So take me there. It's weird that we don't have like the many talks that we're used to hearing, but it's good to see. So this has to be it, right? I work for the DA. I'm looking for a big cowboy who does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well. I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? Yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Wait, what? Thanks. That's it? Fontaine? Wait, what? Cole? Cole, you made it. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Spine snapped like a twig. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. <laughs> Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. I'm glad everybody's starting to make sense. Everybody's worried about one person. Alright, so let's just get this started. Dang. We finally here. Take right. your time. 
I'll give you and the doctor some privacy. Fontaine was having the houses burned for Monroe. Ah. Oh. Monroe wasn't happy. People started dying and it attracted attention. The doctor lost control. Ooh, 80 point achievement. What do I get? Finally, it's like 95% of all clue. I'm gonna miss that last clue from that one case, aren't I? Ooh. So much for your foresight, Doctor. Alright. It's good to see Fontaine out of action. Destroyed by a monster of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I've heard that story somewhere before. Hey, Frankenstein. Nothing. And do the lighter. What's this? LH. Um, freak. I don't remember who LH is right offhand. All right. Okay. Let's go out. I'm, I'm hoping I don't need. But Oh, is that morphine? Oh, freak. Looks like Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. Huh. Um. Oh, yeah. Let's go and get this out of the way. No, I don't want that. I want the newspaper. This is the last newspaper in the game. That goddamn pet lunatic of yours is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Duke. Control is of the essence. Keep your voice down. Do you know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them. Leave it. We will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which... I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso, who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform me. I thought I could take care of it. And have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Benson. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. It's no longer necessary. I'll take care of Jeff Kelso. All right. Broken glass, that's not fun. That's weird. Good doctor has been marking this map. Oh gosh, more shading. Probably up here then, yep, a little bit more. Anything over here? Oh, there was something else. Edgewood Grove, McCarthy Vista, Crescent Heights, Rancho Escondido. Hey, wait, we just heard about that. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? being built in the path of the freeway? They don't want the freeway. Jack was wrong. It's not about insurance. It's about eminent domain. What are you talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway. 
and pays the improved value of the land where the new house is sitting on. Oh. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? Worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing? Firewood. All of them. That's about as neat a scam as you can imagine. How are we going to prove any of this, Cole? Doctor's dead. And Roll nearly bled to death. If they get Jack... We need the firebug. The Okie Cowboy. Get him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them. So we need to find him. Okay. Rancho Bunkhouse. So wait. Do we go to Kelso? Looks like we're back to Kelso. Huh. That's a flashback sound. I don't like that. This place is very old. I don't like that. Guess nobody's home. Shut the other door for, for, for the heck of it. Okay, that's not what I meant. I don't even know where to begin here. Is that Tenic? This place is creepy. Alright, we'll start here. Is that a flamethrower? Oh no. Most guys bring home a 45 or an M1. This is pretty extreme. Cranes for days. We have seen these cranes before. Quite a flock you got here, kid. A strange obsession. Wait. I know those faces. That's the Jesus Christ, I know every one of them. What does that have to do with anything? LA River Tunnel. The river tunnels. This guy's a tunnel rat. Oh my god, Ira. You poor backwards son of a bitch. Peterson, I'm going to need some help. I've got Monroe, Fontaine, and all the others. It's all tied up nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the L.A. River Tunnel entrance just north of the First Street Bridge in half an hour. Don't ask questions. Just be there. This is DA's investigator Jack Kelso. I have an urgent radio message for Detective Cole Phelps. Oh, freak. They're working together finally. It took them long enough. Dang, 8.30 at night. Go ahead, KGPL. 11K, we see the man. A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. DA's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect outstanding in the LA River tunnel system with a hostage. 11K, and we'll go three. What the hell is Jack playing at? It's like a suicide note. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for us. We need to get there first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 oh, Adam sorry. is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest on Sunset Boulevard. Suspect vehicle belonging to Jack Kelso. Described as a Navy Chevrolet fleet mine. License number 4, William 0286. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. They picked up his car. I'll need help to make it to the river. Oh, that's not good. So there, there are so the deck. The, the captain's on to Kelso at this point. It sounds like they want to get rid of him. The 
That's Kelso's car. Alright, we need to protect Kelso, dude. We need to get rid of the cops, as weird as that seems. All units, Chief Moral reports that the suspect is armed and extremely dangerous. Repeat, extremely dangerous. Suspect vehicle to be disabled immediately. If necessary, use of deadly force is authorized. Holy cow, this is so bad. It's a detective car. You got it. Jesus Christ, how many cops are these guys on? Damage does not matter. You can do as much damage as you want for this mission. Shop number one, three, five, one, six. Repeating, shop one, three, five, one, six is a second suspect vehicle. The score is a green Hudson Commodore. License three, Sam, zero, one, zero, two. That's me. Reported to be gaining suspect, Jack Kelso. Use caution and continue pursuit. All units, stand by for further. Keep going, Kelso. We got you. You gonna go right through it? Yeah. I remember nothing of this mission. Besides the end. It's unfortunate. But. Don't do it. I don't recommend it. Dang it is raining. We haven't seen a raining case in a while. I guess this is the most fun I haven't driving in this game just because I, it doesn't matter what I do. I don't have to freak out and worry about being safe. Kelso, where are you going? Oh wait, we're going to the river time. That's right. We know where we're going. this guy? Peterson, assistant DA. What's he doing? He's here, here to cover our backs. I'm going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his routes. I'll go in here. Cole, you take the next entrance. Biggs, I need you to take the car and cover the spot here. I think that's his fail-safe exit. Cole, he's one of ours. What are you talking about? Right where you are! Got it? Got it. Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. So, Kelso is your boy, Peterson? Captain? You working with Phelps? A handy lad, that Kelso. Yes, he is, Chief. You can't imagine what those two have uncovered. It could go all the way to the top. I hope you won't be implicated. So, you're the new broom, Peterson? Looks like it. And you think he'll make it out of there alive? I think he might. He's a difficult boy to get rid of. All right, Peterson. I'm listening. What's your offer? That boy's Phelps, okay. My Phelps are Kel I'm Kelso. Oh, freak. What? You didn't die? Okay. We have it. We're in good shape with having this Thompson now. I went a little too ham there. Okay, I have to go that way. Cool. I just saw somebody. Cool. 
someone get burned to death. Christ, just missed. That must be Era. Oh, now you jump. Should have ran when you had the chance, buddy. You're pretty brave for a dead man. Thank you. I figured I'll be in one in this game. Ooh. Excuse me if I pick up a bar here. Uh, I don't even know what it was. Okay, so. Thompson. Shotgun. I don't know what I want to use here. Alright, let's continue. Sorry about that. You can walk out of here or go out in a box. Your choice. You know what? I don't want this gun. I didn't mean to grab the shotgun. I wanted the bar. No, I'm okay. Oh, I don't want that. I don't know where the bar went. This is the grand. This will work. As long as I have rank of the gun. How many more we gotta die? Well, three. A lot more, apparently. Alright. Should be almost out of this thing, unfortunately. The Grand's probably my favorite weapon in the game. It's also one of the best weapons to shoot if you're at the, at the time. Throw out the guns! Who are you talking? As soon as he pokes his head out, we'll step on it. You want me? You got it. Flamethrower? But why? Alright, once you pick up the flamethrower, you cannot use a different weapon, so keep that in mind. So your best bet, if you don't want to use the flamethrower, don't pick it up. There's a ladder. I'm like, ah. Uh. The water's rising. Free. You could walk out of here or go out in the box. Your choice. Thank <laughs> you. 
Is that the ladder? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Is that not the achievement? The achievement for getting a kill with every single weapon, so I'm just sitting here like, did I not do it? Now I'm sitting here, okay, if it's not that weapon, what weapon is it that I haven't killed someone with? Three. You want me? You got me. Alright, you're gonna kill seconds. I can't shoot this guy. Oh, I have to go this way. Okay. Hey, look who's, look who's cooking. I have no idea where to even go at this point. It's another hole. I guess I have to go that way. No. Go free. Can't go that way. There's nothing that way. Oh, okay. This is where I need to go. I didn't see this place. Well. Are you okay, princess? I felt better. He saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have you come here to kill her? Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. Her. But not me. You haven't come for me. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. And the ha? Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom! War's over, soldier! I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God now. We all fight for God, Ira. In our own ways. Not everyone knows it. Elsa! Are you alright? Get away from her! It's alright, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? I remember you. No. No. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave full of civilians. What? A hospital. What is he talking about? It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. You helped me to help other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to a better one. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Vix will help. His exit is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now! For God's sake, Jack! What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve with you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole!
we do, Lieutenant? Regine, just look at all the kids! Stop the goddamn screaming! I need to think! And how do you expect to do that, you fucking maniac? They're burned to a crisp! Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps! Get your own fucking hands dirty! Ah! I'm out of morphine! Help! Ah! Ah! Put these people out of their pain. Now! That's an order! <laughs> Everyone out of here now. Double time! You two get Lieutenant Belt to an aid station. Weapon team will be blowing this place in two minutes. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. Free. What? That's how it happened. We're gathered here to honor Detective Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps was the best kind of man. Hear, hear. A war hero who led his men with true valor and through his personal bravery achieved one of his country's highest honors. A cop wrongly accused who never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system. Ryan, you belittle his memory. Elsa. Get out of my way, Jack. You call yourself his friend. A detective who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon, Leyland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer who we'll recognized the need Jack. to remove the odd bad apple from a department right. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued I was never to his fight enemy. the good fight. I think he knew that, Jack. The fight that cost him his own life. A good husband. A good father. And may I say... A good friend. I want to do too, buddy. And guys, that is it. Whew. That's a heavy scene, but I love this game. This is one of my favorite games of the decade of the twenty the two thousand tens. Um, this is a game that I've th I've said for years I was going to cover, and I didn't know when I was going to cover this game. And I even told I even started this game back I think twenty fourteen during the early days of Factor the Game, and I'm like, I don't have the commitment for this. And I'm glad at the time I didn't do it. Now's a really good time. The remaster's a good pick. And honestly, I 
feel this game a lot. And I love this game. And I'm so glad to actually cover it, finally. This game does have some irritating points. The achievements, of course, will be strange. We're going to cover it. Well, you guys have already seen them. I haven't done them yet. But... I freaking love the concept of this game. I really... W the reason why I hate Rockstar as a company is because how much put they put in Grand Theft Auto and nothing else. Yes, we got Left After Redemption 2 after 10, like 8 years, I lost track, but this game, I want another game of it. This game is too freaking good to let it die. If you know me, Manhunt's also my favorite series. I wish they'd bring back from the dead. Bully, I never played, so I really don't care. But with this game, like, I want Rockstar to do other things. I haven't enjoyed a Grand Theft Auto since Grand Theft Auto 2. 2 is the one that I've put the most hours in. I've tried playing San Andreas. I've tried Vice City. I own 5. I've owned 3 and 4. I'm not... I can't get into them. They're not my kind of game. Because I don't like how they're played. So... I love seeing this being like a good guy. Grand Theft Auto. Best way to say it. Um... The goal is, at this point to me... As is after, I mean, of course, remember, this is the finale. I'm for it, and I'm sorry. So, so, after this point, I'm doing the collectibles and all the other tiers we've missed. We do have um, cases to do, uh, street crimes to do for arson. We have the movies, we have the landmarks, we have the badges, and we have the novels, and I th the cars. Those are six things we have left. If there's any achievements I have not touched yet, we're going to start working on those two as well. I don't know why I'm saying this afterwards. I'm guess I'm telling myself, really. Um, the next game, I have no freaking clue, because this game's so phenomenal, it's hard to top it. Get with next. It's probably gonna be probably a less duration in my luck. Um, so that's a huge thing. So, um, I need to start prepping that, because this is episode 45, 46, 50, I have no freaking clue, but... I have a lot of work to do, and I need to get it done. So, I freaking enjoyed this. This is one of my favorite games I've had Let's Played. This is definitely, if I ever did a tier list again, this would be like an A+. Because it deserves it. Like, this is one of the best games on the 360 era. And you can't tell, 360 PS3 uh, Wii era, and you can't tell me otherwise. Yes, there are other games I'd love to see. I don't know what era I'm doing next. I'm thinking I'm leaning towards, probably if I could, PS2 era, if that's feasible. If not PS2 era, we'll go with hopefully an Xbox uh, One X or One S game. I own a One S, but I have actually barely touched it. Because there's no games for that console that I want to do. So, the goal is... And hopefully one day do one of those, but I need the game. I need someone to give me a game that I want to do. So if you have a game suggestion at this point, throw it out there. Like I've done 81 games, and there's a good chance I'm stopping at 100. I've enjoyed doing this, but I feel like I got 20 more games in me to finish. I will finish Desert Storm, and I will finish uh, Spyro eventually, but. I got 20 games left. If you want to throw your suggestion out there for... I don't do indie games. If you haven't noticed that yet, I do. I will not do an indie game unless I do a Let's Cover series, but I haven't done it in a long time. So, that is an option. But... Throw it out there. The worst I can say is, no, that's not my kind of game. If it's a bad game, I'm for it. You know? Game 100 will be my favorite game of all time. If you don't know what that is... Go look back at the old Let's Play. I've revealed it a couple times. I even did a spinoff of it. Very early. So, that is what my goal is. I mean, I've been doing it. I'll be, it'll be, it's 10 years this year. So, I think it's time to put this up down. But, I got 20 games to cover. I have a life to do. But I've enjoyed everything I've done. This has been my, one of my favorite things. So... With that said, 20 games left. Actually, I think it's, it's time. I'm going to delete Tyranny and replace it. It's the main goal. That's why it's 20. Because I think this is 81. I don't know what's next. And I'm going to figure that out. 
throw your answers out there if you want a game covered, specifically one of your favorites of all time that no one's covered, or a game that many people may not know of. So, it's very interesting. I know this, I love these credit sequences talking just my feelings, but there is no five star for this case. There's no nothing. Spoil alert. I already told you that, that there is no, you can do whatever you want, you can do whatever you want. Abbey Road? Really? I didn't realize that this was recorded in Abbey Road, that's kind of cool. That's not the point, but it's a very good point. Um, I love, we didn't use any of the music, I turned it off in the car because I can't do any of the, the MCAs, I don't want copyright notes, I haven't got a single one of these up to this point. And I just released, like, 24, 25. Um, so, man. I mean, I'm 30 now. I started this when I was 20. I don't have the personality like a lot of people do. I have a different personality, and I admit that. So, this game brought a lot of me out of me. A lot of things I've realized that's been on my life the last couple years. So, this game does hit really close to home. And I appreciate that. Rockstar, please do LA Noir 2 or LA or freaking Chicago Noir, DC Noir. I don't care. I want another one. That's all I have to say for that. Told her that. I don't. There's really not much else to say. It's weird that this is a credit with no background music. And I want to say it's because I've turned the sound off. It makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, um, so, yeah. I've covered everything. Street crimes, all that. The only thing we haven't... I mean, I already told you what's next. Music still a thing. I do have ideas I want to do for Factor Entertainment, but I just don't think that's ever going to happen, unfortunately. I'm having basically a therapy session for myself here because I'm like, I have all these ideas. What can I do? But I just need to do them. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, L.A. Noir as much as I have. But at this point, there's really nothing left. Um, I've done three or four hundred percents in a row, which is very unusual for me. I didn't do... Holy freak, I'm not even close. I'm on 71, not 81. I'm sorry, I have 30 games left in me. I have no idea what those 30 games are. I just looked it up. I feel stupid. Go me. Um, the 71... Oh, I need to do redo Daily Depression 2. And I'm hoping the game goes to another console that I own, or I get access to a Switch again. I'm broke. I can't afford a Switch right now. Because 66 100%. Ellen Wake, I need to go back into 100%. 68 would have been 69 was 100%. 70, I didn't. 71 was 100%. So, yeah. The 29 left to go. Oh, 30, because I'm getting rid of Terran. I guess screw that game. Um, but it's been fun so far. And I'm i probably got another year or two yet left in me before I have to start doing actual adult things. When my life gets taken over. <sighs> Alright. There is one more cutscene. And I'm going to let the game take it away whenever it's ready to. And I know I've been basically non-stop rambling for the last ten minutes. And it's been amazing. I don't ever get to ramble. Yay, ramble. Copyright holder, contributors as is. Screw that, you know. I like. I hope everything's going well for you all. I respect all of you guys and hope everything goes well in your lives. Let's continue making things happen. My thing is, I think I will. I will stop let's playing at 100 if I haven't hit like 10,000 subscribers at this point. So, game, we can please take it away. How about this for a headline? 
Guess which former sixth marine hero has been promoted in the LAPD? No idea. Well, could be anybody. You give up? Tell us or hand over the fucking paper. The shadow, boys. Our very own Silver Star winning son of a bitch. Phelps? He didn't die, Jack. He did just fine, and that's all we're going to say about it, right? The one and only. Look at this picture. Golden boy getting his badge, wife and kids in tow, and looking awful humble in the process. Well, he's that phony bastard. I wonder if they've been holding my job for me after all this time. What job was that? Mechanic. Ain't you seen all the war bond movies, Sarge? All the best mechanics is women. You're gonna have to work as a gigolo from here on in. <laughs> I was a bus driver in Santa Cruz. You know, no pictures in the papers or medals for me, though. Can't believe I just went through Petaloo and Okinawa just to go back to being a washing machine mechanic. How is it that jerks like Phelps get it all? It doesn't have to be that way, guys. What are you talking about? It's always going to be that way. Do you have any idea what you guys are sitting on? Yeah, a ship full of army surplus. You're sitting on surplus morphine. Two tons of it. Can you imagine what that's worth on the streets? What? Hundreds of thousands of dollars. You're shitting me. I'm not. You're talking about stealing it? Keep your voice down. Do you want to have us all thrown in the brig? God damn it, Sheldon. You want to go into the dope business? No. I want to be in the peace dividend business. What is that supposed to mean? It means I want the guys who fought for a better future to get some share of it. You interested, Jack? Come on, Top. We could all get out from under. No, oh, it's the chance of our lives. It's everyone or no one, boys. I'm not having a bar of it, Courtney. You may be the bravest person I have ever met, but I swear to God, trouble follows you around like a pet fucking dog. I thought you wanted to try for medical school. So what do you want, Jack? What's the future got in store for you? You guys were all heroes in the war. Every single one of you. Even if your next door neighbor or your wife never know it and don't give a rat's ass. Fuck belts and medals and citations and parades. Fuck the public who are bored with returning GIs. I have nothing but respect for what you guys and the rest of the six have done. You go through with this, and you'll be nothing to me. But why help Courtney? Wait a minute. You say all of that and you still help Courtney? Oh my god. Guys, take care. I'll see you next time.